Welcome back. Former President Donald Trump in court in Washington, D.C. today, trying to get some of his federal charges dismissed. His legal team argues Trump should be immune from prosecution for his alleged efforts to overturn the election. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Hannah Brandt tells us now how this fight is playing out in court. Trump's legal team made an appeal to the federal judges that the former president should be shielded from criminal charges, but the judges pushed back. As a president, you have to have immunity. Very simple. In front of a three-judge panel, the former president and his lawyers fought to dismiss federal charges for his efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 election while he was still in office. To authorize the prosecution of a president for his official acts would open a Pandora's box from which this nation may never recover. But the judges seem skeptical of those immunity claims. I think it's paradoxical to say that his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed allows him to violate criminal laws. While this legal battle plays out, the federal election interference case stays on hold, and prosecutors are hoping the judges side with them to allow it to move to trial. The president has a unique constitutional role, but he is not above the law. And the former president is trying to use this legal fight to help propel him back to his former office. I did nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong. I'm working for the country. We don't know when exactly we'll get a ruling, but the panel says it intends to work quickly. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.